sure our top returners, Steph Ambach will be a top scorer for us, uh, along with Casey Armstrong, her speed and scoring ability, and we'll also look to Kaylee Thies on the attack. In the midfield, Steph Ambach will also play multiple roles for us and be a tenacious defender. Um, we'll also look to Nora Fisher in our midfield. And um, in our defensive end, our senior Christina Vittorio, along with uh, junior Amanda Orlock, uh, Allison Mernick, and uh, Rachel Pedersen will be keys in our defense. And in goal, Kirsten Mulvey and Sarah Allison will be battling it out. So we have some nice depth, and I think we'll be ready to go. Um, starting on defense, um, Liz Goderov is returning as our senior defender. Um, she's the anchor of our defense, and alongside of her, we have um, Anna and Sarah, who um, was injured for most of the season last year, but um, she looks, in, you know, really great coming out in preseason. Um, in the midfield, I was with Emily Hubley, um, who is, you know, first team All American, just an incredible player. Um, and all the players on the field just, you know, look to her and watch her. Every day, um, and then the attack. We have seniors Caroline Lovett. Uh, we have junior Kelly Kendall, who's um, you know really good basketball players. So we haven't had her this preseason yet. And we have Allie Dudley um, and also Kat Vincent. Who, um, you know she's got great height in there. She gets in on the draw. She's very dynamic on the field. So we're pretty excited. We've got a solid group that's coming back. Well. Um you know, something that um, on paper from last year looking into this year that probably all the outsiders will assume or know already that we're definitely strong on attack. We are returning two all-conference players, uh, Daniel Entrott and Julia Jacobs. Leading our midfield and defense this year is senior Bridget Bopes and senior Lily Galzrano in, in cage for us. Um, I think starting with our midfield, uh, we're really excited about what we are turning the midfield. Um, Katie Dawson, Mary Delberti, and Bryn Dietzel. Uh, they've been in that position for quite some time, and I think this is a year where we're going to really start to see them step up and just attack everything a little bit more confidently on both ends of the field. Uh, Attacking-wise, uh, I think we're going to, again, see some, some new faces in the mix. Uh, we return Emma Ebert, who had a, a breakout year as a freshman last year. Um, Amy Kohout has really shaken it up uh, and done some really nice things. Uh, and I think overall, I think you're going to see a, a more well-balanced attacking unit this year, which we're, we're pretty pumped about. Um, defensively, Lisa Grouse, a uh, sophomore for us, really has turned the corner. I think um, the light bulb went on for her this summer sometime, and she came back, and she's doing a great job leading that unit. And again, that's another young unit, so um, we're really pleased to see the progress that she's made. Okay. Uh, so we are bringing back three out of our five top uh, goal producers, so that's always exciting. But as any team transitions into the next year, there are many players waiting to fill those roles, and we have the depth to do so. So from the offensive end of the field, while we graduated some key performers, the juniors and rising sophomores and even some uh, promising freshmen I believe are going to fill those roles quite nicely. Uh, we're going to complement the, th the things that we did last year offensively and build off of those point producers but I think we're going to be able to have a lot of new looks on the offensive side of the ball because of the new personnel coming in. Uh, so we're bringing back uh, Bridget Kenny, Mandy Buell, um, Maggie Connolly, who produced a lot of points and goals for us, but we're also seeing great promise uh, and consistent performance from an Abby Bagelman um, and some juniors and seniors in Liz Cochiola, Sam Elio, um, Emily Scullin, Emma Christie, uh, and then a couple great freshmen uh, that might be making some noise early on. Um, we're, we're excited about. Um, the defensive end of the ball, we actually return a a pretty solid nucleus there as well. Um, Emily Tropsa, who just did a great job uh, on the interview, will is also one of our leaders on defense and in the midfield. Um, joining her in the midfield will be Caroline uh, Jager, who is a up and coming sophomore, and um, our defensive unit with a returning goalkeeper uh, will allow that defense to really be more aggressive because they have a goalkeeper with a good solid year under her belt. So joining Tropsa on D will be Chelsea Reed, Tina Wright, um, Gretchen Bemke, who's um, and Macaulay Mikes, and these are real solid, solid um, defenders that also really possess a great deal um, of speed. 
we have a lot of returners. Um, our entire starting lineup has returned, um, which we're really fortunate in that. Um, just in experience on the field, you know, we have Carly O'Brien returning on the attacking end, um, along with her, another all-region performer, Caroline Clancy in the midfield. Um, in addition to her, another all-region, all-conference defender in Maura Mahoney. Um, and then our goalkeeper, goalkeeper position, again, is pretty solid. We have Jojo Auerbach and Tara Cudahy, um, who split time last year, and we anticipate the same thing happening again this year. Well, we lost a few members of the uh, team from last year in all positions. So, um, you know, that's, that's tough. But we have five seniors this year, um, only two of whom were here last year on the team. So uh, having five seniors and they're in a variety of positions is really going to be great for the leadership on our team. Um, Sam Reichart and Elizabeth Bachman are the two that are returning from last year. Sam is a defender, and um, Ebach, as we call her, is an attacker. So that's great. Um, returning from uh, one from being abroad, another from research, um, is Sarah Lentricchia and Elise Tierney, who both bring a great deal of experience to the midfield, and Olivia Perez as, as well. So our senior group is going to be great as far as leadership. Um, in addition, we have a, a bunch of juniors who got a lot of experience last year um, as SOFs. Um, and in a variety of positions. We have Antonia uh, Violante um, on defense. Uh, we have Lizzie Cohn on offense. We have a variety of other juniors that are going to bring a lot of experience, including Tasman. Um, she uh, also brings uh, some experience on defense as well. Connie Bowen in the goal cage uh, as our junior. She's also got a lot of experience last year. She split a lot of time with our uh, senior last year, Michelle Ammerman, so she's coming in with a lot of experience as well. We have a soft, Brianna Narzical had a great year last year as a first year, so she's coming back in the midfield. And then we're really excited about our first year class. Um, it's a big class, it's an experienced class, there are a variety of positions, and I think uh, quite a few of them are going to push some, for some playing time this year. So overall we have a, a good balance in all positions, etc. Okay. Um, I think, you know, for our uh the key returners for offense uh, this year on the attacking side is going to be uh, Brittany Jorgensen and Grace Saliba. Uh, they're very good uh, attackers who, uh, along with Gabby Frank and Kim Abruzzo, have played in you know big games. Two of them are seniors, a uh, junior and a sophomore. So they've all played in you know the championship games, and uh, so they have a lot of leadership under their belt and a lot of points. Uh, we had to replace a couple starters from the attacking unit, so they've really stepped up uh, this this uh, fall and beginning of spring. And uh, in the midfield, we're really hoping that um, you know, with two conference uh, returners, all conference performers, Annie Mergner and Emily Everdale uh, back, that will stabilize the midfield for us, along with three of three senior midfielders who are have really grown throughout their four years here, um, Emily Durasmo, Meg Kelly, and uh, Casey Madden. So with those four seniors and the returning junior all-conference player, I think a midfield will be a strength for us this year. And, um, you know, so then looking at the defensive uh, side of the, uh, of the ball, I think that's where we have the most consistency. Uh, we have two um, juniors who played and started in every game they've played in their career here, uh, uh, Sam Blick and Caroline Duran. Then you had two sophomores, uh, Sarah Bazo and Vanessa Budd, who both, uh, Sarah started every game last year as a freshman and was all conference, all region, and Vanessa Budd played in every game. So we have a lot of continuity on that side of the field, and we're going to need it with the departure of a, a first-team All-American goalie. First. Well, um, I'll start from the back. Um, we have Katie Albert, who is our returning goalkeeper. Um, she's now a sophomore uh, with a whole freshman year under her belt. I think we've really worked on her uh, leadership role in the back there, kind of being able to rely on her more uh, as a leader and as kind of the leader of the defense in, in her position. Um, she's definitely improved in her skills, um, but also I'm excited just 
the fact that she, we still have three more years with her, um, that she's, she's ready to go, um, and she just is a lot of fun. So we're excited kind of starting back there at, with a goalie uh, who's motivated and, and ready to, to go and lead. Um, defensively, moving forward from there, um, we have two seniors that are going to be kind of anchoring our, our defensive unit of Tani Hamid and Grace Bailing King. Um, and the two of them have a lot of experience. They communicate well um, and are really great leaders on and off the field that will be able to anchor the defense. Uh, Midfield-wise, uh, our strongest returning midfielder are two of them, um, Claire Johnson and uh, Georgina Dominique, are really going to fulfill a big role for us this year. Uh, Claire is a, one of our captains this year, uh, has returned to Bryn Mawr this semester uh, from spending the fall abroad. So we're excited to see her leadership on the field and how she's really grown and developed um, while she was in Scotland. So the other thing um, with the two of them, we're kind of moving into the attacking end, having lost our leading scorer to graduation in Kat Magner. Um, really Claire and Georgina and all of the rest of our attackers are going to need to, to fill that that scoring void that was left with, with Kat's graduation. Um, but I really feel like our our attack is going to be much more balanced, um, much more confident uh, across the board with, with the seven attackers there on that end. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how everything comes together uh, and being able to get a lot out of every single player and not have to rely on one or two um, all-stars to, to fill the burden. Sure. Um... Uh, offensively, we have a couple of players who are back. Um, Hannah Morgan and Dana Kim are two of our seniors who um, contributed last year, and um, and I expect to, them to do the same this year. Uh, they're in the offensive end. You know, they bring uh, Dana Breen brings a lot of energy and um, and you know quickness, and Hannah is a very sneaky player. Um, so they work really well together um, in that offensive end. In the midfield, um, we have Diana Perry back. Uh, as a senior this year who um, certainly was a leader and a top goal scorer for us last year and um, you know she uh, plays both ends offensively and defensively um, she takes the draw so she really does do it all for us um, and uh, also Serena Mineta is a sophomore who um, you know started every game last year and was really a, a great overall well-rounded player on the field again she did it all ground balls uh, draws and goals. So, you know, happy to have her back again um, for this season. So, um, defensively, we have, uh, we also have a couple of seniors that have come back this year. Um, uh, Bree Robbins and Nicole Socket are two, uh, two seniors who really anchor our, um, our, anchor our defense. They've been starters, uh, you know, for the past three years and um, and expect them to start as well this year. So, um, you know, they bring a lot of um, a lot of knowledge back there and a lot of direction to our younger players.